Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday, the 10th of March, 2023. Leo, you will see that this is different. I've decided to record for you individually rather than by element. I really think you're going to prefer it. So if you're ready, Leo, let's jump in. Here we go. Let's find out what's going on for you over this weekend and the week ahead. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday the 10th of March 2023. What do we have for my beautiful Leos? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing taking a step back to reconsider. Okay, Leo. All right. Thank you. I'm hearing Archangel Metatron. So for some of you, you're strongly connected to Archangel Metatron. All right. Okay, I can see someone at the edge of a swimming pool just dipping their toe in the water. They're withdrawing their toe. They're taking their foot out of the water. They're saying, oh, it's way too cold. It's way too cold. No, 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 no. Okay, Leo, all right. Are you wanting to talk to somebody, but you may get a bit of a frosty response? Scars are flying. Okay, wow, Leo. Thank you, Michael. Michael's saying there's one more card. Okay. See, that's the one. That's the one that flipped over. Okay, guys. Let's get these cards together in some kind of order for you, Leo, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, Leo. So we start with the Six of Cups. Leo, you're thinking about reaching out to somebody from the past. Very clear indication. With the energy of the devil, this person could be a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. You may be a bit obsessed about someone, Leo, obsessed with someone, I should say. With the Seven of Cups, you've been fantasizing about a life with this person that's you literally wishing on a star. But with the energy of the hangman, possibly a Pisces, this is someone who is not moving. With the energy of the Ten of Wands, you may, Leo, be in a long-term situation that is unfulfilling. You're not happy. You're highly stressed. With the energy of the Page of Cups, you could have a child with somebody and that may be a partnership that you're unwilling to let go of, maybe for the sake of your child. With a page of cups, you may be wanting to apologise to someone that you met in the past because you may not have been honest about the fact that you were in some kind of long term partnership. And this was, in fact, with the three of pentacles, a third party situation. So Leo, you may have moved towards someone, pretended you were single in the nicest sense. There may have been an affair or it could just have been a one night stand. But you can't forget this person, Leo. They may have cottoned on that you are actually not single and they may have pulled back and even have blocked you, Leo. The problem is you cannot forget this person. And you've been sitting on the fence as to whether or not you should return to them to apologise and speak your truth. With the energy of the chariot, it could have been easy to hide a long term relationship if you and this other woman lived at a distance, Leo. I feel I'm connecting with a masculine in Leo. Or it could well be that you are in a partnership with a Sagittarius with a card of judgment or a Cancerian. And this is what you may want to admit to, to this other woman. And I think it will be because you either want her forgiveness or you want to discuss you potentially leaving this long-term relationship. Okay? 
So that is where we start your reading for this week, Leo. All right, Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. What do we have for my beautiful Leos, please, Michael? Friday, the 10th of March, 2023, weekly reading. Thank you. What do we have for my beautiful Leos? Thank you, Michael. Okay, those two and that one. All right. Here we go, Leo. Let's have a look at these cards. So, Leo, we start off with patience. I feel as if, Leo, you've been hanging back from expressing the truth to this woman you met in the past. I feel as if, though, with fire spirit, you just can't wait any longer. I think you want to communicate. With a one and a seven, which is eight, obviously, that is about expansion. That is about movement forward. That's also the en that's also the number of Leo. OK, with the energy of Raven spirit, truth, I think. You want to pass a message to this woman to express the truth. Now, the truth could be simply, Leo, that you want to apologize that you moved towards her pretending you were single when you were not. And this is you wanting to communicate with her, maybe with a view that later on, if you decided you did want to get out of a long term situation, you would have mended the bridge as such. OK. So, Leo, moving into Tarot de la Nuit. So let's have a look and see what we've got for my Leos, please, Michael. Thank you. Yes, the Page of Cups. So, Page of Cups twice, Leo. Now, this could be you simply wanting to apologise or you're wanting to admit that you've actually got a child with someone. With the Three of Swords, you want to express to this woman that you feel heartbroken. There's a lot of pain because you may have fallen in love with this woman that you had an affair with. With the Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles again, you want to admit that you were juggling this other woman with a long-term partner or somebody who was pregnant with your child. With the energy of the fall, the other woman could be an Aries or you know that you were a bit foolish. Maybe, Leo, you did something you shouldn't have done. You went off, you had a fling. Maybe you were feeling frustrated because your person was pregnant and you weren't getting any. I don't know, Leo. But this is you wanting to apologise for being foolish, okay? Four of Swords. What you're saying to this other woman is you've been thinking about this, you've been stressing about this, you didn't know what to do. Should I go back to apologise for what I did? With the energy of the Emperor, this is you thinking of taking action. Now, for some of you, Leo, you may have hid the fact that you were actually married. With the Nine of Wands, there's a lot of stress. I don't know whether or not your karmic partner found out that you had an affair. Difficult energy. The Magician. You want to manifest forgiveness from this other woman. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. I just get a sense that you're in your head about this, Leo. You have been for a while. Four of Cups. You may want to express to this woman that you were very unhappy in your partnership. That's why you moved towards her. You were very attracted to her. With the Page of Pentacles, you could be wanting to say to her, I'm so sorry. You may want to turn up with a gift. You may want to talk about a child. The devil. Okay. For some of you, Leo, you may have been in a relationship with a Capricorn or you want to apologise for simply following your desires. Maybe this was lust. Leo, that was it. And you broke this woman's heart. Seven of Cups. Yeah. So this is you maybe apologising to this woman. I'm so sorry. Seven of Cups. I know I left you in, in a very confused place. I know you didn't know what was going on. I know I didn't tell you the truth, Leo. I know I didn't tell you the truth. This is very difficult, Leo. Wow. Yeah. So what you're saying, Leo, is 
Nine of Swords. I have been highly stressed about this since it happened. I don't know, Leo, did you ghost this woman? Eight of Swords. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. You felt really guilty about this. You've been in your head. What do I do? Do I leave it? Do I go back to apologize? Temperance. All right. You're trying to calm your energies. You're trying to get your mind into a balanced place. You could be highly stressed because if you're involved with a Sagittarius, yeah, Temperance and the Judgment card, two cards of Sag, it may well be that your partner found out that you had a fling. Five of Cups. Feeling left out in the cold, feeling unhappy. Queen of Swords, okay. Leo, I think this is potentially the woman that you moved towards, that you might have had an affair with. I don't think it was a long affair. It was very short-lived, but she's upset and angry. Oh, we got the high priestess. Yeah. So she may say to you, look, to be honest, I figured out the truth. I figured out that you were with somebody else. You weren't being honest. Ace of Pentacles. Now, Leo. Are you wanting to talk to her about a potential relationship in the future? Is this what this apology is all about? Yes, Ace of Cups. Leo, you have not been able to get over this person you had an affair with. For you, you simply wanted a little bit of fun. Maybe things were heavy in the relationship you were in. Maybe you were dealing with a heavily pregnant partner. Maybe you were married and have been for a long time. Maybe things have got stale. But I think that looking back, you realise, Leo, you fell in love with this woman. And what you want to do is go back to apologise, to speak your truth, with the view that if you did decide to have the courage to leave your long-term situation, you would want to be with this woman in a new relationship. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yeah. So the reason why you're coming back is that you are on the fence about ending your long-term partnership. Nine of Cups. You believe that this woman would be ultimate fulfillment for you. What else is Leo saying to this woman? The death card. Okay. So Leo, what you're saying is, if the Nine of Cups is overindulgence, what you're saying is, I'm sorry that I treated you that way. I have changed. I'm not normally the sort of person that will go off and have an affair. It just happened. But I felt a connection with you. If I decided to end my long-term partnership in the future, would you be willing to consider moving into a new relationship with me? I think that is the reason why, Leo, you're trying to come up with the confidence to reach back out to this woman that you may have left broken hearted. Okay, hermit. Now this is a woman who may be keeping herself to herself. She could be a Virgo. You could have Virgo in your chart. This is taking a step back for contemplation. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is hanging on to what you've got or keeping quiet about a situation that you're thinking about. Seven of Wands, you're very guarded, Leo. Now, are you guarded because your partner found out you had an affair and it's a very cold energy between the two of you? The Hangman, okay. Strong Pisces, High Priestess and the Hangman. You may feel this woman is putting up boundaries, Leo. She may say to you, it's not a good idea to consider moving into a relationship with you. Page of Swords, she's going to speak her truth. It may be too late, Leo, okay? It may be that the damage has already been done. She felt as if you took advantage of her, you weren't honest with her. And despite you potentially wanting to move towards her to come clean, she may feel as if she wants to let this go, okay? The Chariot. She may want to talk to you about a Cancerian. Now, for some of you, Leo, if you live a distance from this woman, that is one of the reasons why, even if you became single, she would not want to move into a connection with you. She wouldn't want a long-distance connection. 
With the energy of the Empress, okay, she may know that you're married to a Cancerian or a Sagittarius. Or with the Empress energy, this is someone who is sitting in very high vibe energy. She knows her worth. Yeah, the star. Wow, Aquarian energy. She knows her worth. She's a powerful manifester. I mean, the Empress, the star, the high priestess, the hermit. She's deeply spiritual. She may feel as if it's too late, Leo. How is this going to end in a situation for my lovely Leos? What is Leo going to do or say? The strength card. Your energy of Leo. Leo, I think once you know the truth, which is this woman saying thank you, but no thank you. Um, she may say, well, I found out the truth or I intuited the truth. I'm sorry the trust is gone. You also live a distance from me. So unless you move closer to me, I don't think this would work out. She's going to hold back. It's going to take a lot of courage and confidence for her to do that, Leo, because I think there was a lot of attraction. Yeah, she's going to hold back, Leo, because with the energy of justice, she could be a Libra. With the energy of justice, she knows that you're in a contract with somebody else. Yeah. With the energy of the moon, Pisces, Cancer, energy. She's holding back because you hid the fact that before, Leo, when you two met, you were in a relationship with somebody else and you didn't admit to that. You weren't honest. Yeah. She's asking you to face Judgment Day. Now, this is also her making a judgment call to hold back from you, Leo. So I think for this particular week, Leo, she's decided to hold back. She's making the decision, even though it's difficult, because despite you wanting to come back to her and apologise and admit the truth, the damage has already been done. OK, so it's a challenging reading, but let's move into messages. All right, Leo, Andromeda Sky's Love Oracle. Let's just ask what you would want to say to her, Leo. I think I'm connecting with a masculine Leo. Yeah. So, Leo, what you want to say to her is, I feel terrible for hurting you. So, Leo, you knew maybe afterwards that you caused her heartbreak. All right. I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. Yeah, so Leo, maybe you two live long distance. You were literally going on a trip and you met this woman whilst you were away. It could be, Leo, that you simply feel with I'm not ready, that you're not ready to leave a long-term partnership that's unfulfilling. What else is Leo saying to this woman? Wow, Leo. Okay, this is tough. I abandon people to make myself feel important. Leo, maybe you weren't getting on with your karmic partner. Maybe she made you feel insignificant in some way. Not cherished, not loved. And maybe you wanted your ego fed in the nicest sense. And so you moved towards this woman, pretending you were single. You got your ego fed. You had that attention, that love, that affection. And then you just left. So basically, Leo, in the nicest sense, you use this woman to make yourself feel better. And that was difficult. OK, what is Leo saying to this woman? I feel empty without you. Leo, this is a classic situation where we have an unfulfilled masculine in a long term relationship who stepped out and had an affair. You, I think, develop strong feelings for that third party. But because you didn't tell her the truth, because you withheld the truth from her, she has decided to put up strong boundaries. So, Leo, you're really wanting to go back to her. You're a bit obsessed with returning to her and expressing the truth, expressing your feelings. But I think she's simply going to push you away. OK. Yeah. OK. All right, Leo, this is challenging. I'm sorry I dive in and out of relationships. Leo, I don't know whether somebody fell pregnant. You felt as if you had to commit to somebody that became pregnant. I feel as if you may have got caught up in a very serious connection with someone almost out of your control. 
You may not have been ready to commit to anyone, but you found you had to because of a situation you were in. And I feel the divine is asking you to really look at your behavior going forward. And I know that sounds patronizing. I'm so sorry, guys. But look at these energies. I abandon people to make myself feel important. I dive in and out of relationships. I'm not ready. So, Leo, this is something you need to really think about. All right. What does Leo want to say to this woman? Leo, you do want a relationship with this woman. Can we start over? I mean, that's very strong. You are making a serious decision to contact this woman, to tell her the truth, to apologize with the view that if you have the courage to end the connection you're in, you would want to go back to this woman to start a relationship. But Leo, I feel as if lessons have to be learned. You've not ascended. You've not learned those lessons that you need to learn to be with an empress. So that is what the divine is saying. This could be literally, Leo, you in the nicest sense, having to cope with some karma, okay? Realizing you fell in love with a third party, but feeling stuck, and now you don't know what to do because she doesn't trust you. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah. Under the deck, I check on you from afar. So this is definitely a long distance connection. So Leo, it's up to you whether you go back to this woman and apologize. I think she'll accept your apology if she's sitting in Empress Energy. She'll be gracious enough to do that. But Leo, to be honest, she's not going to welcome you with open arms, okay? All right. So Leo, a challenging reading, but that's what we have. Have a great weekend. Take care of you, and I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Leo.